practicing our fluency today. And to practice our fluency, I found this poem that I love so much called Stopping by Woods. Okay, so I'm going to have you help me read this poem here. So I'm going to show you a word and you read it as we go along. Okay? so far? No. Okay, no. Well, we got like 12 more sentences. We, we can do oh, it, right? Come on! Jack, what's wrong? Why are you? We're reading like a robot. Oh, that's true. We are reading like uh, a robot. Could, could we read a little faster? Uh, yeah. It's so hot in here, my sweater. All right. I think yeah, maybe if we read more than one word at a time, would that help? Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. I think we'll try it a different way. Then. Let's try reading phrases, so a couple words at a time instead of just one word at a time. should be read fluently. Fluent reading means you read like you speak. So you don't read like a robot. Right? So this is Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening by Robert Frost. Whose woods these are? I think I know. His house is in the village, though. He will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. Uh. My little horse must think it queer to stop without a farmhouse near. Between the woods and frozen lake the darkest evening of the year. <coughs> he gives his harness bells a shake to ask if there is some mistake. The only other sounds the sweep of easy wind. 
and downy flake. So these woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep. So you can hear that when you read something fluently, it's a lot more interesting than if you're just reading one word at a time, right? So one way that we can practice reading fluently is by reading fluency phrases. These are two or three words put together that you should be able to read quickly, and we're going to practice some right now so you can read them with me. All right, so we're going to read our fluency phrases starting at the top. We're going to say them each two times. One, so we can practice saying the words, and then the second time so we can read it more fluently. Okay, so let's start in the upper left, this one right here. At, at the time. And more fluently. At, at the time. time. Go, go, go to school. Go to school. It is life. It is life. They still need. They still need. They still need. It'll re read a little bit faster than if you just look at one word at a time. So I want you to practice your reading fluency by reading the same passage again, but now you're going to see all the words for the whole poem, and this is going to be in your Google Classroom as an assignment. Okay? So let's pass these back up. And once we get them up at the front, you're going to carefully walk back and go into the Google Classroom and open up the assignment that says read his harness wells and shake. He shake. To ask if there is some mistake, it will be under sound. The woods are lovely and mild dark and glowing. Notice that your partner is not here. You two are together anyway. But if you notice that your other partner is not here, let me know and I will connect you with someone that you can time them on their fluency. Okay? So get out the fluency folder from your desk. When you and your partner are ready, come see me for a timer. Okay. 